Hello everybody. Okay, there's one more video I'm doing from Frankfurt. I just had some dinner after being up at the mine tower and now it's time to for a little walk through the city. I will go, go back home to Munich tomorrow and prior doing that I wanted to show you what I see right now. If my camera wants to turn, now it does. Frankfurt by night. I can see in the background there's a little bit of a demonstration going on over there. But that's not what I wanted to show you. I wanted to show you the square here, which is the Goetheplatz, right in the heart of Frankfurt, right next to the Hauptwache. That's where I will go next. But first, let's have a look here. The monument of Johann Wolfgang von Goethe, the most famous German poet. He lived in the 18th and early 19th century. And Frankfurt was his hometown. That's why they named the square after him. In the background, of course, the high rises, Manhattan, and uh, the viewing platform where I have been to not that long ago, just about one hour ago, is up there. The place where the red and white antenna is on top of the building. There is the viewing platform. This is the Main Tower. The rest of the square, yeah, have a look by yourself. I think this looks very, very nice. The street here is the Noble Shopping Street. I just walked by Louis Vuitton, Gucci, Ferragamo, all the Noble Shops. They have a dependence there. Now I will turn around. Away from the Noble Shopping and back to the normal life. The rest of the square, very nice as well. I really like that. I think this looks pretty cool. Now let's go this way. More small shops, pedestrian area, and the Hauptwache is right on the next corner. And from there, the Zeil, the main shopping street, will start. Let's see how far I will go. And the view from the viewing platform from up there at the Main Tower. This was very, very good. Great overview of a Frankfurt. I saw all the way to the south to Langen, where the central of my company is. I saw the stadium, the Commerzbank Arena. I saw the airport, Frankfurt Airport, biggest in Germany, of course. And as the mine tower is in the middle of the skyline, you can see the whole skyline. The view to the Main River was not so good because it was blocked by other high rises. But to the north, to the Taunus, and to the west, to Central Station, these views were very, very good. All right, the Hauptwache, central square of Frankfurt, busiest S-Bahn and U-Bahn station. This is also at night a very, very nice looking place. <coughs> there is the church. I don't know the name, but it's covered in scaffolding, fully covered. Renovations going on. Yeah, all these old buildings, they need to be maintained to prevent them from collapsing. That's what they're doing here as well. The red light here to the left. No, this is not the red light district. This is the other direction towards Central Station. This is just a bar, a restaurant. They're selling cake. They're selling beer, of course. And the building right in the middle of the Hauptwache. This is pretty cool. I love the setup with the red light. This looks very, very nice. Over there, we already saw this during daytime. I don't know if you have watched the video about the Zeil at daytime. If not, have a look up in the corner. And when you're done, come back to this video to see the difference between day and night. The Galeria Hauptwache the big shopping center, this looks pretty good. I don't know how long this Galeria shopping will stay here because the parent company of Galeria shopping went bankrupt not that long ago. Let's see. Here to the left, where there is a hole in the ground. This is the entrance area to the underground shopping and the U-Bahn and the S-Bahn. We have a steakhouse, Maredo over there. We have a Starbucks over there. Nice. I really like that. The atmosphere at night is pretty good. 
just look out not to be run over by e-scooters or cyclists on the way to five guys over there I see the symbol of Thai Airways yeah a lot of airlines serve Frankfurt Airport Thai Airways is one of them and they seem to have an office here in the city as I work at Munich Airport they come there too in Munich they have their office at the airport like a lot of airlines do and this is the Zeil and there's always something going on here on the Zeil you can hear the guy playing uh, bongo drums over there the atmosphere looks very very good Frankfurt might not be the friendliest city but being there being here I never had a problem with that Frankfurt is a pretty nice and I think a pretty cool city yeah of course there are some uh, dark points in the city like the red light district and the drug district close to Central Station but if you stay away from these spots there are no problems and here on the Zeil a lot of people are around it's now about 6.30 in the evening the lights are on not only in the street but also in all the shops this looks good I really like that of course if you've seen the day video you've seen all the shops so I will not describe them any closer just to mention that there are a lot of them and that this building here to the left the shopping center we have here looks pretty nice as well and the setup here with all the trees with all the bike racks you can walk below the trees even um, especially in summer this is pretty nice bring some shade to a normally pretty hot place yeah there's not that much green to be precisely there is no green at all here in the shopping area this is a problem that a lot of cities do have and at least having some trees having the shade of some trees this makes it better all right I haven't seen the shop the last time this is Adidas Ray Ben right next door and the Maizai shopping center here to the left of course the view back to the skyline to the high-rises this looks very very nice and I really hope you enjoyed that view because I did it quite a lot tomorrow I will go back home and let's see how many videos I brought from Frankfurt and Cologne thank you very much for watching don't forget to hit like and subscribe and stay tuned for the next trip travel series this will be Vienna I will go there in about two and a half weeks let's see how much I will bring from Vienna until then have a good time goodbye